Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon or good evening, wherever this may find you. Welcome to Old Man Listens to After Dark. This is something that we're doing later on in the night that we will upload for you YouTubers. We're going to be listening to uh, Floating Points and the great, the legendary Pharaoh Sanders on the 2020 release from Floating Points uh, called Promises. This came out on vinyl only earlier this year and I've been looking for a copy and just haven't been able to track one down. Finally, I found my copy. So, um, I'm a huge fan of Pharaoh Sanders. I uh, have several of his records and, you know, plus the stuff that he did with obviously Alice Coltrane, the stuff he did with John Coltrane. I love the dude. And um, I knew that this was a record that I absolutely had to have. Finally, here we are. We're going to be listening to this together. Um, I expect it to be beautiful, man. I expect it to be ethereal. Uh, where it is that I have a question, and I mean, it'll go in whatever way it does, but um, where it is that I have a question is, what Pharaoh are we going to hear? Because Pharaoh gets very crazy. And uh, that that's something that I'm looking very forward to finding out. Anytime I get to listen to new Pharaoh Sanders, it's a big deal to me. I love this dude. So, um, is there anybody here besides myself that's never heard this Floating Points record with Pharaoh Sanders? I mean, obviously me. I do have another Floating Points record, which I enjoy. But now you got Pharaoh Sanders on it. It's another thing. Devin says he hasn't heard it either. FM Gary, Chris, nobody, all of you haven't heard it before. You know, Darns hasn't heard it before. Okay, so there's a good bunch. Ruckzuck hasn't heard it before. Okay, there's a good bunch of us that haven't heard this record before. I know Nelson's heard it. Oh, fuck. D-Rock, Dube. Okay, so then there's a lot of you that haven't heard it, which is even better. This is going to be a fucking vibe, man. It's what we look for. This is capturing the beauty of listening to a piece of music together in community, and uh, I can't wait for it to happen. I have very high expectations. So, um... Why don't, um... I put this on first, because I don't want to get interrupted in between sides and stuff like that. I'd like to experience the record... All together, but um, I need to go rock a piss. So this is happening a little earlier than usual. Hey, do you like what we do here? Then support what we do. Become a patron for as little as 2 or $5 a month. Patreon.com slash Vinyl Junkies. It's kind of awesome, you know? Give you a little bit of time to uh, pack a pipe if you want. You know, get yourself refreshed. Because uh, I expect it's going to be a really cool uh, ride. Time to go take a squirt. I'll be back. Ma va fan cool. Bing bang, bong, ding, 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 
Corky Buchek. See? Gives everybody some time. It's like, ah, now we can just hang out. Listen to some music. We're ready. We're about to get into Pharaoh Sanders floating points. Shout out to Corky. Shout out to Corky. You guys, if you got a if you got a pipe, you've packed it. You know what I'm saying? I wonder. DDT says. He wonders if this is the most played track on the show. Yeah, most likely. Most likely. But it works, doesn't it? And it's the only copy in existence. Ours. So that just makes it cool. This fucker's going to get noisy after a while. (laughs) For now, it sounds good. All right. What do you say we... um... Put ourselves in a proper mood and get ready to um, get taken away. Exactly how? I don't know. But I'm ready for it. I mean, I know the music of his uh, predecessors. I know who he's worked with, so I have an idea. All right. If you like what we do, support it. Become a patron for as little as 2 or $5 a month. Glad that you're enjoying the show. Let's do this, man. Smoke them if you got them. That's noisy.
Wow. I wasn't expecting it. Thank <laughs> you. 
I got carried away. It was the greatest, just being able to close my eyes and let the music completely envelop me, and it uh, did that on. It, it, it did that throughout. Uh, as I was closing my eyes and just listening to the music, I thought to myself, you know, this record makes me feel like the first time I heard uh, music for airports by Brian Eno makes me feel like the first time I heard some of those classic Tangerine Dream records you know Rubicon and uh, Phaedra and all those reminds me of the first you know the, 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 the way I felt the first time I listened to um, Moondawn by Klaus Schultz I mean it's amazing to immediately be talking about something that you've heard for the first time fall into those categories. Now, I immediately started looking at the liner notes. It's a really well-constructed album jacket. It's, die it, it's cut out here, as you can see. And there's a painting inside but uh, as i was looking at the liner notes i see sam shepherd so now i have to go look for more sam shepherd stuff cuz this was this is absolutely fucking enchanting you know what was it the celeste was in there there's just a whole bunch of instruments the whole thing really just worked so incredibly well i mean it's on Lu luaka bop so this doesn't surprise me at all. One thing that does surprise me a little bit, though, is that the vinyl pressing leaves uh, a lot to be desired. I mean, I'm taking a look at it over here, and the record's pretty wobbly. So that's, uh, to me, very surprising because we have a lot of Luwakabop records in the archive, and this one's probably the worst one I've ever had. So... Yeah, even if I put a weight on it, it's still completely wobbly. Like, this record basically was not given enough time to cool. Which is incredibly frustrating for me. Because I just got the fucking thing. And it's got background noise, too, the record. So it's a poorly pressed record. Disappointment. Like I said, it's the first record actually from Luwakabop that I feel this way about, though, so. And I got a lot of them. 
All right. I'm looking forward to being able to listen to site two with you. I'm assuming that you guys are uh, enjoying the listen. This old man after dark thing is really cool. And yes, if you look closely enough, you can absolutely see the wobble. Like even on camera. You know how it is just by looking on camera. You know how it is that you, that you, could know, that you know that there's a wobble? You see the light flashing? Where is it? On this side? No, on this side. You see that? How the light's flashing? The reason it flashes like that is because it's going up and down. If it was an even surface, it would be the same straight line all the time. So, I mean, it's a defective record as far as I'm concerned, but, I mean, quality control, uh, yeah. I've got my issues with quality control. And as a consumer, I mean, what do I do now, you know? I mean, I guess I'll, uh, check Pete out at, uh, Autant Toitour and see if he's got another copy. But usually, it's the whole run that's like this. Usually. Yeah, but I'm curious. It, may, it does make me curious. Uh, for those of you who have it, um, do you have the same issue? Are you seeing a warp? The warp is significant. So... Yeah, this is the floating points. All right. So what I'll do is I'll uh, play Site 2 for, for all of you. I'm glad that you're all enjoying the show. Folks, you can listen as much as you want here, but uh, I think that the value of this show is the um, community. So rather than just listen passively, I'd like to invite you to become a patron of our community and take part of the patrons only chat and everything that comes with it patreon.com slash vinyl junkies is where you can make that happen I've just put the link up in the comments well look it's definitely a pressing issue it looks like the record just wasn't given enough time to cool Okay, even with a, you can see, even with a record weight, it's still wobbly. And it's the first time, it's the first time I own a Luwaka Bop record that has an issue like this, so. I'll see what I could do about uh, procuring a better one. Or is it the rest of the pressings? Okay, press that palace, which isn't terrible. Palace is not fucking terrible, not at all. You see, everything that you're telling me now tells me that this might be the exception rather than the rule. Yeah, yeah pa Palace is, is one of the good plants, no doubt. So it's not like they went with just cheap old stuff at all. It must be a, um, it must be a thing. I'm going to see if I can get a replacement, basically. I didn't think we were going to get into a tech talk during a floating points record. But I guess we are. All right. I guess we're going to continue to side two. Smoke them if you got them. Did we flip sides already? Yes, we did. Needle drop. Hey, you outsiders, have you uh, followed our channel yet? Follow our channel, we're going to see you across the screen. And welcome, Twitch people. Smoke them if you got them. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is unbelievable.
Wort dran. It's straight... It's straight silence. There it is. This very easily um, lived up to what I expected. Um, it's a masterwork. Very emotive. Cinematic elements to it as well. Uh, I mean, how do you score something like this? You don't score it. It's a mind-altering work of art. On several occasions, as I closed my eyes and listened to the music and kind of like absorbed it, my entire body became charged with electricity. Frisson. You know the kind that kind of gets into your legs too? Gets into your feet? Intense. Uh, usually that's the only uh, score I need. What a great record. I mean, I guess this counts as 2020, but yeah, this is like one of my favorite things that uh, I've heard in a while. It, it, it's given me everything I wanted it to give me. It had the crowd rock elements to it as well. The classical elements, the electronic elements, it's a thing all on its own, man. But yeah, there's a grandiosity to it. It feels like one of the important records, you know, just like it will be one of the important records in a Tangerine Dream catalog or Brian Eno and all the other names that I've mentioned. This absolutely feels like an important record in the career of Floating Points. I mean... I've only listened to two different pieces and this is definitely the one that catches my attention and one that I can see myself playing on a very regular basis. It's beautiful. I'm guessing you guys dug it too. And yeah, it was like a, a hidden track on it. That's always cool. I was wondering because it got like really silent. So it was a hidden track. Thing is, is with vinyl, you can tell that it's a hidden track. Like with CDs, you couldn't tell, right? 
Well, vinyl, you could tell. Well, you can't. You could tell because the timer would just keep going forward. But here, it's like you can tell because you can see. It's like no. I mean, there's grooves. There's still grooves happening. So something should be happening there. Well, I'm glad that we did this. Um, floating points with Pharaoh Sanders. Old man listens after dark. A series I think I'm quite, uh, I'm beginning to quite enjoy because of the impromptu uh, and spontaneous nature of it. Rather than planning these shows ahead of time, they just happen in the evenings during our regular broadcasts. So that's to me is pretty cool. Thanks for tuning in, for it. 